Hey, it's UD here. Welcome to another CCNA Cyber Ops Labs. Now, in this lab, we'll be talking specifically about the Window Task Manager. So, Window Task Manager is a monitor program that provides information about process and programs running on a computer. It also allows you to terminate a particular running process from the Task Manager. Now, we'll be looking in this lab. We'll be looking at uh, the Process tab, the Service tab, and the Performance tab. Now, the required resources to perform this particular lab is simple. You obviously need a Windows PC. Uh, you might also need internet, but it's not necessary for this particular lab. So you, you can get to your task manager by right clicking on your taskbar. Then you will see a task manager where you click it to open the task manager. Or you can also um, use the control alt delete, the combination of all three keys says the window security screen now let me try it i'm using a screen recording tool i don't know if it will stop so go here and you see your tax manager below here so i'm already in the tax manager here so let me maximize this window so this is a tax manager a window so as you can see these are the apps i'm i'm running i'm running audacity and contagia with tax manager so let me open another program quickly let me open my command prompt. So this is my command prompt. And look at the command prompt is rightly beneath the tax manager. So you can expand this particular program to see um, the child process running. Now under this process tab, there are three categories. You have the apps, you have the background process, yes, and at the bottom you have the Windows process. Look at it here. So what the apps process is, it currently display the, the open program by the administrator. And these background processes are processes that are running applications that are currently open. So the windows, the windows process are not shown in the figure. You have to scroll down to, to see the windows process. So but the windows process a Microsoft Windows services that run in the background. So you have to scroll down, down. Okay, here is it. I have like 92 Windows processes running. So the background process, if you check my system, I have like 88 background processes where the apps are only four. So if I go back to my Windows processes, I should be able to see command yeah, console Windows. So if I right click this, and select the properties, I should be able to even see the, the location of the file. So this file is located at Windows System. So if I try to, let's see, close my command prompt from here, close it. So if I go back to my apps, I should not be able to see it again. Let me just scroll back. So if you check under this apps tab, you will not be able to see um, command prompt anymore or oh, I have uh, closed it. So this, you have your CPU and memory disk network GPU, but this memory now is, so you can double click on this memory to change the preferences of um, the memory. Right now it's like from the lowest memory to the highest memory or the largest memory. So you can change it to let's say, sort all the process running on this computer based on what the largest memory consumption. See now, as I change this to this largest memory consumption, you have your my SQL server running. So, but if I change it to the least memory, so you see the settings is consuming the least amount of memory. Let me open my command prompt again. Okay, so let me, let me right click this command prompt. So from this resource value, you can change how you want your memory to be what display. Do you want the memory to be displayed as values or do you want it to be displayed as percentage? So right now it is being displayed as value. So you can see this Windows command process is using like 7.6 MB. So but if you want it to be displayed as, as percentage, so just click on the percentage. Look at the percentage now, it is reading 0.2%. So you can do that with the disk. So you can do that with uh, 
let's try doing that with the disk let's say my disk i want it my disk i want it to be showing percentage instead of um, values so this service tab if i go if i click on this service tab it shows um all the services running on the system including those that are not running so it shows um the name of the service the process id and even the description of that service so right now the status of these services is running so it is a running process so but if you check down like this one you have this sat prop svc so it doesn't have a process id here because it is not running the status is stopped so so you can you can just browse through to see which service is running and which services is not it's not running so working from the performance tab is is interesting because this give you a graphical representation of um, your cpu your memory your disk and even your your wireless or ethernet so this one like my system yours might be different so my system is running the intel uh, i7 cpu and at this speed 2.10 gigahertz so you see the utilization of um, the cpu by my computer now so you even see the the total amount of processes running so you see um, the amount of time since this uh, computer is on so you also see the amount of speed this computer is basically uh, utilizing at the moment so you see the amount of threads you see the handles everything is being displayed here so if i click on the memory the memory here also tells you in summary tells you the amount of uh, installed memory so right now my system is having 12 point gigabyte ddr3 ddr3 and um, it is it is using like 3.6 gigabyte right now so the available memory i have on my system now is um 38.1 gigabyte so depending on your system configuration you might be using a single slot for your memory but on my system now i'm using two two slots right if you see if you check very well you can see that it's reading two of two slots being used so if i check my my disk so you see here you have um, the name of the particular disk installed on this computer and you see the, the reach speed and the write speed on this particular disk so depending on what kind of uh, connection you are using if you're using the ethernet you click on this ethernet you see but right now i'm not using ethernet so that is why here is just blank so I'm using Wi-Fi so here you see the amount of memory the amount of speed in sending and receiving you see the amount of uh, download and and upload speed you can also check your GPU to see what is happening with your GPU you can see the utilization and you can see the GPU memory here one other cool stuff that you can check from this task manager is your resource monitor so if I click on this open resource monitor this is another another uh, cool feature of windows so you can check your your cpu shows you the, the the total amount of cpu it's another graphical representation of what we just saw the cpu the memory the the disk all in display here so um that is the end of this lab i hope you learn something from it and um, thanks for watching I will see you in the next one.